This video is sponsored by Surfshark VPN. I can't believe I'm about to spend 80 pounds on a photograph of a dying child. <laughs> Bath bomb! Hey you, my name is Thomas Tomscar Ridgewell. I'm Elliot Goff. And I'm Eddie Bowley. And welcome back to Tryhards, the show so original, we're already reusing ideas. We're gonna try, but it's gonna be hard. We're gonna try, because we're Tryhards. So last season I had an idea for us to see who could go the most viral on TikTok. And then at the last minute I changed that idea to be more broadly about the internet. And then the ones of us that didn't do TikTok failed miserably. <laughs> This episode, we're doing it right, baby! Yeah, we're out of ideas! <laughs> <laughs> no, we're not. We have so many ideas, but they're, just, they're so expensive to do. And I don't want to. We blew the budget, everybody. <laughs> we really did, <laughs> right? So the winner of this episode will be decided by who can make the TikTok with the most views. And you can make as many TikToks as you want to get to this point. You can do pretty much anything you want. The only rule is that you, you have to do it anonymously. You know, we can't be trading off our existing brands and recognizability or bananas costumes i don't want to see no fucking banana nana man <laughs> It's fair. I also just genuinely don't want to see him because he scares me. Everybody welcome Orange Man. <laughs> no! <laughs> it's Apple Boy. <laughs> yeah, I think that's I, I I think that's it. We just have you have one week to somehow get a TikTok with the most views. Good luck. Let's go TikTok try. That was awful. I know. And now don't for the and now for the sponsored ad. And now a word from our sponsor. Ah, Tom, come in. Mr. Surfshark, it is an honor to finally meet you. Please, Mr. Surfshark is my father's name. You can call me Sir. Uh, yes, Sir. I've called you in because, well, you did it. Did what? Absolutely everyone has Surfshark. My entire YouTube audience? No, Tom. Your Surfshark ads are so successful, everyone in the whole world has Surfshark. So everyone can access content not available in their country, all 3,200 servers in over 100 countries? Wow! <laughs> That's right. Everyone's data is safe from malware and hackers. <laughs> Even the hackers are safe from hackers. <laughs> huh. And because everyone has Surfshark, society has reached the next stage of enlightenment. The world is finally at peace because of you. Yay! Wow, that's great news. It is! But now we have to kill you. Wait, what? Why? Tom, 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 Tom. Everyone has Surfshark now. They all use code TOMSCARFRIENDS to get three months extra for free. And now, there's no one left to sell Surfshark to. So you're gonna kill me? <sighs> that's fair. I'm sorry, Tom. May the sharks serve with you always. Uh, I got me! You haven't seen the last of me, Mr. Surfshark! I will have my revenge! What are you saying? My vengeance will burn hotter than the fires of hell! A vengeance so fierce you will never recover from it! NEVER! Sir, one person just uninstalled Surfshark. No! Tom If he doesn't have Surfshark, we can check his location. Oh yeah! Shall I send in the drones? Yes, please. So... I can do this, right? Like, I'm the Astiff movie guy. I made, I made that. People like that. I can go viral again. I, I, I created a popular thing. I can create a new popular thing. Right? I'm gonna be fine, right? TikTok is a platform that I both fear and admire. Like, it is the new thing, and it's where all the kids who grew up with the internet, who didn't just come online at a certain age, but the internet was there, from day one for them, have made their home. They speak the language of it so fluently that I could not even hope to come close to matching their levels of fluency. So I don't, like I've posted stuff on TikTok before, but it was just sketches, the thing I'm good at. And I enjoyed doing it, but I immediately got so addicted to the app that I had to delete it off my phone because I was suddenly losing three to four more hours a day just on TikTok, which was, bad. In all seriousness, please delete TikTok off your phone. It is... it's dangerous. There's gonna be books written about what this shit's doing to us, all of it. Get offline! <laughs> Hello, so I, I like TikToks, I do. If you follow me on Instagram, you know that I love, love a good TikTok. Despite my fondness for the TikTokies, that doesn't mean I have any ideas. Because kind of the crux of 
what most of my ideas hinge around is just going to be Banana Nana Man again. You can't drown me. I will outlive you all. Like, I literally had an idea. I was like, oh, it'd be kind of cool and creative if I made like a puppet. And that would be the vehicle of the TikToks. Then I realized that I would just be doing Banana Nana Man again. Just a ca cute character that does stuff. And then it gets weird and dark. So what I'm going to do, essentially is I'm just gonna watch some TikToks for a bit and write down the best law effort ideas that I could possibly come up with and just play the numbers. Because what I know from TikTok is that it is just essentially a roll of the dice. You can either make a really great TikTok that gets 100 views or you can make a TikTok of you accidentally hitting your hip on a bed frame and you becoming a viral hit. The world of the internet is made of chaos, so why not just feed it as much as you possibly can with putting the least amount of effort in and then just see how it goes. So let's stop wasting time and get paid to watch some TikToks for a bit. <laughs> Okay, so for my TikToks, I thought I would get this chest strap. This allows me to hold my phone hands free, which will also keep my identity a secret. The only thing is, though, it gives me fantastic tits. Look at the way it's... They're pushing them up. Look at that. Cracking norks. I don't like cracking norks. <laughs> I don't think I've ever genuinely said norks in my life. Why did I say it just now? Hello. That's you, that is. That's what you look like. I guess I'm going to try and do something just quite absurd. I think that's the only angle I can really take this in. So keeping the hands free, maybe some like messy food related stuff and hoping that people would share them and, and, and engage with them on those merits. That's the idea. Whether norks are a part of that equation, we will have to wait and see. First thing I need to do is get a door. Newton's third law of physics states that for every action, there is an equal and opposite reaction, which is exactly why I don't bother posting that many of my opinions on the internet anymore because if you give people your opinion they're gonna give you their opinion and I don't fucking want their opinion which is why a lot of the stuff that I think or even say to camera ends up getting deleted or put in the drafts until now because I'm gonna pull out some of the I guess least controversial things that I've thought that are still maybe a bit annoying and divisive and channel them into little scripts which I'm going to give my friend Will Garud who is a great actor to perform to camera I am going to create an insufferable man That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Huh. So, hello, I'd like to do a thing with you. That seems ominous. Almost threatening. It does. How do you want it? How are you going to get me cancelled, Tom? So basically, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm doing a, we're doing a video where uh, we're going to try and get lots of views on TikToks. I would like you to play just an absolutely insufferable person. And you're not that, but you're a good actor. So I believe you can, you can pull it off. Okay, we'll try. Let me introduce you to... Uh, Tim Supreme, aka Tim Supworth. I watched TikToks for a bit and I noted down a lot of just trashy ideas that I could put as little effort in as possible and hopefully get the most diversity of content out there. I ended up coming up with like 10 different TikTok kind of accounts that could breed some ideas. That's my ideas, I guess visualized <laughs> and i'm not going to tell you them all straight away i'm gonna i'm gonna let i'm gonna paste them out throughout this video for you <laughs> it's fun this way i'm creating uh attention i guess so this is an old door this used to be in our lounge area you may have seen in an episode of last week or last month whichever one it was where tom took off this door for us so this has just been in our garage this whole time so i'm going to just do a bit where i have the door outside our door that's the whole joke. Let's see if this works. It may not. Oh, that must be the door. Yep, photo. It's the door. <laughs> yes, you can come in now. <sighs> One. Yeah. So what I need from you is the, tri the is the triple threat of the millennial pause, smirk, and zoom, which is. Oh God, it's, it's hard to watch. It's, 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 it's unpleasant. Look at it. Oh, oh, fucking fuck you. Go on, give it, give it your opinion. That is definitely your opinion and not mine. Go mouthpiece, go. Do you know what the worst thing Marvel ever did for culture? 
Elon Musk. And he worms his way into Iron Man 2 just to be held as an intellectual equal to a fictional character. Okay? So, my first TikTok channel is a thing called Quizzle Me Quiz. Welcome to Quizzle Me Quiz! When I was looking for various ideas on the TikToks, I, I kind of really like the, the quiz formats that some people have. Like this one, which is uh, video games and stuff like that. Guess the video game screenshot. I wrote 10 questions, uh, and now I'm gonna, gonna do some VR. I and mean, then I'm gonna figure out how it looks. Welcome to Quizzle Me Quiz. What was the original use for a chainsaw? Is it A, pest control? Is it B, a kitchen utensil? Or is it C, childbirth? All right, so we're doing a bath time themed TikTok now. Now, obviously, I'm not gonna get actually naked. I'm sorry, even patrons don't pay enough for that. <laughs> I'm gonna bring out of retirement these flesh-colored pants. <laughs> okay, all right. Doopy doopy doop. Oh. Okay, go. Doopy 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 doop. Oh. Hey, stay there. All right, go. <laughs> Don't fucking trip over with the fucking toaster. <laughs> Fuck's sake, you actually <laughs> trying to kill me? Doopy 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 doop. Huh? Hey! Stay there! Ooh! My toast is done! Shit! No, oh, it was part of the fucking bit! <laughs> Don't talk! <laughs> it was part of the bit! I didn't know that! I was improvising! This is really quite horrible. Really in the bath with bread? Yes. Bath bomb! <laughs> So while Tim cooks in the oven, I've got a bit of a feeling that it's not going to be enough. While he is grating and his opinions can be a little annoying, I don't know if that's going to be enough. I need to get people real big mad. I need to play on some base emotions. I need to ruin something special for people. Something like Christmas, perhaps. Something like the goodness of man. Yeah, I think I want to fuck that up a little bit. I'd like to introduce you to Michaela Young, played by a lady I know called Hunter, and she is going to do something very, very bad. She is a girl who has recently emigrated from America to England and can't help but notice that we don't really do that much with Christmas lights here compared to over there, and she misses them. She's a little homesick. She wants to see those beautiful twinkly lights, and she's got a plan a devious, cunning plan. She is going to convince the entire street to put up Christmas lights to cheer up her dying sister. Saying it out loud feels bad, actually. But it's not real, so it's okay. But Tom, where do you find a dying child in this economy? Uh, stock photos, I guess. Took a while, but this one seems pretty believable. I can't believe I'm about to spend 80 pounds on a photograph of a dying child. <laughs> This is a new one. Uh, this is, I don't want to say it's a new low, but it's a new something. Fuck. Oh, the things we do to ethically source dying children. Going to my local print shop to get these cards printed felt bad. I don't think I like this idea very much. <laughs> Have some Christmas cards. Go be evil. Yo, let me tell you something. I moved from Texas to the UK like a few years ago. and They are so bad at Christmas here. Like, y'all know in Texas, we know the drill. We've got it on lock. Here, the Harry Potter movies lied to me. This was my street on Christmas Day. What the fuck is this? But last year, yeah, girl had an idea. I sent out a Christmas card to all my neighbors with a photo of my dear sister Sophie, telling them that Sophie was about to, like, unalive soon. So to, like, go fill out for Christmas to make her last Christmas, like, super magical. See? I've done the first one. I've put it together. I've done. I've done all the. I've done all the graphics and stuff. That's right. It's childbirth. Oh. Oh God. Oh my God. Oh, this is. This is disgusting. Oh my. Ugh. I at least want to get free done today, so that I can post them whilst I'm freelancing tomorrow and the day after. I was hoping to do another one today, but it's looking like that's not gonna be a thing. So I'm gonna finish the last, I'm gonna do the next two 
quizzles and see how much time I have left because I would like to do at least one more channel. Just to, just to hedge my bets, you know, so I'm uploading three a day at that point. Oh, I broke the plate. It, it was the, the, the plates from my wedding I could break, yeah? The wedding plates, yeah? I could break those, yeah? 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 Step one, cut up carrot. I did a break. <laughs> Time to play a puzzle game. How to make roast carrot. Step one, cut up the carrot. Step two, cut up the carrot. Cut up the carrot. Cut up the carrot. Cut up the carrot. I'm wearing a shirt that is the exact same color as my green screen because I just want to see what will happen. Anyway, uh, fuck it. I'm going to make Astiff movie again. It's okay to know what you're good at and just do that. Like I'm good at just being some floating limbs and a head. Whoa. Yeah, that seemed funnier in my head. <laughs> So like, I know that I've been around for a long time and I've got the subscribers and views to show for it, but I still don't really feel like I'm that famous or recognizable in the grand scheme of things, especially not to an entirely unknown new audience on a brand new TikTok account. So they're not gonna recognize my voice, right? And my art style is just gibberish anyway. So ask, it's gonna be fine. Like I just need this to get a few thousand views. I'm gonna take some, some Ask of movie jokes that I haven't used yet. I'm gonna put them in there and we'll just see what happens. How do you draw a bird? Big wing, big wing, a little wing. Oh, that's bad. And then he's got his little bird face. Then they, they're like, they got the tail feathers. Yeah, that's a bird. This is my new animation technique called Lazymation. It's gonna be the new, the new, <laughs> the new hit craze. Let's fucking go. It's a bird. It's a plane. Oh, it's, uh, it's definitely a bird. You're okay, man. I don't know, fellas. I think I might be kind of stupid. Is this anything? Is this anything? Today I managed to get three done, which is good. Kind of what I am for. I didn't get any other things done. Well, actually, that's not true. I got one of a different channel done. as kind of just a test to see if I could do it once I got the free done. Thought I could give it a try. And that channel is something I think is very funny, but also I can't disguise my voice in it. I've been trying and it just isn't working, but I do think it's very funny. And that is the dramatic reading of dot dot dot, where I just do dramatic song reads. Bitch, I'm stylish. Glock tucked, big t-shirt, Billy Eilish. Basically, it's just me reading silly song lyrics very dramatically with like soft jazz in the background. So yeah, that's four, four TikToks done. And hopefully I can just smash out all the quiz ones and maybe even do all the, the dramatic reading ones and maybe get to do another one of another channel, which would be nice. I'm just gonna, again, just a lot of content. All right, let's go. Please, uh, may I have a view? I've made like zero effort to hide my identity with this one. Like, I'm just banking on people not clocking my voice or general art style. If people like, this reminds me of Tom Scar or this reminds me of Ask Maybe, that's fine. But I feel like if people like, oh, hi, Tom Scar, I'm probably gonna like have to disqualify myself from that. <laughs> <laughs> that channel. But like, I'm just kind of banking on people just not clocking me. A lot of you have the object permanence of a baby. So if you can't see my face, maybe you won't even realize. Oh fuck. No oh, god damn it. Oh, I fucked up. Oh, I, fu I fucked up so bad. Oh, mate. <sighs> mate, I worked so hard on those fucking cartoons and I got made. I can't, I, I, Oh, I pitched up my voice, I pitched down my voice, but it's still my voice. Fuck. This one requires a bit of a pratfall. I don't want to fall on the grass, it's wet. <laughs> Ooh. What the? Ow. 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 I'm okay. Ow. That was really stupid. I don't have enough time to sit there and like constructively plan out well thought out clever jokes. I think I just have to come up with the stupidest thing I could think of and then make it happen. So that's why I'm going to put a TV in the garden. I don't want to do this. Bad brain. <laughs> okay. Working, 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 working and oh, I'm distracted. 
All right, fuck it. I'm just gonna try lying to people again. So in like 2010, I posted this really stupid video to YouTube called Snape realizes the fucking candles are floating. It just makes me laugh to this day, even though I'm well off the Harry Potter train for some strange reason, it still gets me. I'm not done with it. I'm not done with it. So I am going to make a fake facts TikTok account pretty much for the sole purpose of using this clip again because it just fucking gets me I've tracked down this old BBC news article from when the first Harry Potter movie came out and I've edited it to be about Alan Rickman quitting Harry Potter because he was so annoyed that this shot of him looking at the candles was included he's not even looking at the candles he's just listening to Dumbledore it just I, it makes me laugh I don't have to explain why. Alan Rickman nearly quit Harry Potter. The Snape actor was furious at the first Harry Potter premiere when he discovered that a shot of him breaking character had been left in the final edit. When filming the House Cup scene, Alan Rickman was genuinely surprised by the floating candles. And what we're seeing here is his sincere reaction when they started moving. He was unaware that this moment had been captured and was not happy with director Chris Columbus for including it. He was so angry that it took an extra $1 million to get him to agree to come back for the second film. That, my friends, is why Alan Rickman nearly quit Harry Potter. My favorite quote is, uh, I was so scared. Uh <laughs> <laughs> just the idea that what we're seeing here is genuine fear. I think it's believable. It's going to be on screen for like one or two seconds, but maybe that helps convince people a little bit. That'll be something. TikTok, TikTok, TikTok. <laughs> Are you all right, Elliot? Why did I do that? Is your hand okay? <laughs> Fuck. Hey, Eddie. Huh? Did you make any TikToks? Yes, I did. Oh, really? Yeah. Tell us everything. Oh, God. I thought I'd lean into the absurd. There's a lot of TikToks that do just like a lot of weird shit and their appeal is because it's so weird and bizarre. So I quite, I try to lean into that. So, you, so you've so you got some weird shit to show us? I got some weird shit to show. No, it's not that. It's, it's fucking mid-level shit to show you. <laughs> <laughs> Expectations are managed. So <laughs> thank you. How to make a British cup of tea. First tea bag goes in. Milk first. Then beans. 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 Now stir. Don't forget to take out the tea bag. Finish with a sausage roll. God save <laughs> it. That's really good. I feel ill. I had it, I had it purposely cut off at the very end. No, there. yeah. <laughs> God. <laughs> I like it. Yeah, that was yeah. great. Yeah. yeah. I've just noticed the avatar for this account. Yes. Is that is that not uh, Kevin's avatar? Kev this is Kevin Wood's account. No. This is Kevin, <laughs> not Kevin Wood again. Yeah. You need to let him go. I didn't do the Brummy accent, but like, no, I brought Kevin Wood back That's for this. Very wow. it's, his, it's his TikTok account. <laughs> I, I, I somehow feel like this may not have been the redemption arc you were hoping for Kevin. <laughs> yeah. So, um... I released another video and I might have cheated a little. I'll show you the video first. <laughs> what do you mean you cheated? I'm working. I'm working. I'm working. Nope, I'm distracted. Now, the thing is, this video, that video has 34,000 views. Oh! It did have 600 views, but I paid TikTok to algorithmically promote it to see if I can maybe give it a little boost. Look, if using TikTok's promotion tool to artificially algorithmically promote your video, if that's called cheating, then call me Jack the fucking Ripper because I'm a do a crime. So that video appeared in people's feeds as a sponsored ad. <laughs> I had a lot of comments that were like, why is this an ad? <laughs> why did you do that? Why did you do that? I had to win! I couldn't make any more TikToks, so I just thought, well, here's some fucking money, just make it go big, please. I didn't know you could pay TikToks just to promote it. Yeah, you wow. can. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. All right, so that's 34,000 views for Eddie on his most viewed TikTok. Way to go, Eddie! Yay! Uh, well earned, I think. There is a variant of that one which I decided to not release, of the, of the exact same TV setup. Actually, let me quickly find it for you. I'm scared. I'm working. I'm working. I'm working. Nope, I'm distracted. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's 
So, huh. <laughs> I was just that, was that perchance the uh, the the moisturizer again? No, that was mayonnaise this time. Oh well, I, that's worse. worse. I, I got mayonnaise on my TV. <laughs> <laughs> That wasn't supposed to hit the TV. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, God damn it. This is the part of TikToks they never include. The fucking cleanup. God, I got mayonnaise in the, like the little holes of the speaker. <laughs> <laughs> I had to clean it off with a toothbrush because it got right in the speakers. <laughs> and you didn't even post it. No. Didn't even no, I took it out because I thought I think people are put off by cum these days. They are, they super are, especially and yours. Yeah. You gotta stop coming on people. <laughs> <laughs> so I just thought, ah. Oh. Back in the day we loved cum. <laughs> Kids these days, they just don't love cum like they used to. <laughs> <laughs> We're going, yay! Elliot, why aren't you clapping? Oh, that's strange. What, what happened? Strange thing? What's happened to your hand, Elliot? Well, I made some TikToks. Yeah? You TikTok too hard. I TikTok too oh, hard. Oh no, were you, were you in power swipe mode? I was in power swipe mode. <laughs> so let's start with the first channel. There are channels? Plural? What? <laughs> So let me introduce you to my first channel, Quizzle Me Quiz. Welcome back to Quizzle Me Quizzy. Ha 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 ha. Here's today's first question. All right, this one's pretty goofy, but bear with me. Oh, oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Wow, you go for it. <laughs> that did not deserve the 200 yeah. views it so, got. That should have had so many more. I love that you did. You, you put in such an effort to hide your voice. <laughs> so, no, there's a whole story about this. Okay, I technically that can't be counted because I got discovered. Oh <gasps> yeah, right. Oh yeah. I mean uh, yeah, because that's just your voice. No. So initially I used a voice changer, and someone still found me. Wow. Right. <laughs> and I literally DM them, read like, how did you know? <laughs> And it's like, I'm just a big fan. And so I nuked the channel and just thought, because I hated right. the voice changer. It really made the, I, I actually thought the, the voice changer was so annoying. That, yeah, they like, are very annoying. Yeah. So I was like, oh, okay, fuck it then. I, I'm just going to post the, the, how I like them rather than, and just see how Fair it enough. does anyway. So that was Quizzle Me Quiz. That was Quizzle Me Quiz. And next comes another one. Another one. Called Dramatic Readings. Mm, daddy, daddy, if you want it, drop the addy. We don't have to watch the whole thing. <laughs> I'm really, I don't, it's making yeah. me feel, it's a bad but that's that's, <laughs> that's basically the, the whole thing. Yeah. Pretty much all of them hit the same thing instead of one, but this is the one, it wasn't actually the first one, it was a meme one, which was uh, show me where you piss from. Stained glass window, candelabras, eating my ass like a chupacabra. Show me where you piss from. Show me where you piss from. Well, I just did a dramatic reading of that and the guy liked it and actually commented right. and stuff. Oh, so I was okay. like, oh, okay, that's, that actually is a plausible explanation of why that one blew up. How many views did that get? That got 5,700. Right, okay. And then I did another channel. <laughs> another one. Uh, and this one was called, who is that Pokemon? Fucking Elliot. <laughs> Fucking Elliot. <laughs> <laughs> No, not a single cop. These people have no respect. No respect. No respect for the arts. But that's it. That's all my TikToks. I don't think that's true, Elliot. <laughs> and and that's the end of his story. <laughs> I think you've told a lie. I think that is the end of my story. I don't think it is. <laughs> I think you may be skipping one. No, I don't think so. I think you may. Just a little one. Like I'm so it. sad that you guys found it. <laughs> I didn't find it. I was sent it multiple times. Dude. I found it. Elliot, you motherfucker. I found you. I fucking found you! I was having a shit and it came up in my For You page! But yeah, I met something called Asta Foot with Puppets. So beautiful out here. Yeah, it's just me, you, and the moon. Hey! You two should kiss! What? That yeah. was wow. you? That was yeah. me. That was fucking you! <laughs> 
<laughs> where essentially, yeah, I, yeah. I took your list that you made. Oh, the best ass of gags. Very and it was good. like, what if I just made that with puppets? <laughs> hey, did you know that carrots are good for your eyesight? You lied to me. And what's funny is it's still one of the most creative fucking, like, things people have ever done with Astor's movie. Yeah, they true. <laughs> re-upload it or do it again in live action. This is, I mean, like, a lot of people have animated them and stuff, but, like, I would have very happily been, like, tweeting this out the moment yeah. I saw it. Because, yeah, the creator of the thing saw this immediately, and, I, and yeah, I would have been like, oh, this is fucking amazing. Were it not for the fact that I went, that's Elliot. <laughs> that's definitely Elliot. I like singing. I like dancing. I like trains. But there's a really there's quite an elephant in the room. What I did this all one-handed. <laughs> what happened to your hand? So as you can tell, it's a styrofoam ball that has been cut in half. Yeah, and you cut. I mean, obviously, when you're cutting a styrofoam ball, you cut away I, from. I yourself. was cutting like this. Uh huh. <laughs> away and away from yourself, not towards. Yeah, yourself. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. With, with protective glass. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Oh, that's strange. It keeps going down. <laughs> Uh, I cut a considerable amount out of my finger. Oh, oh my fucking god! With a bread knife. <laughs> oh. That I freshly sharpened to cut through this polystyrene oh. ball. You don't even need to do that, it's polystyrene! And it went about a third into my finger. Uh. And spoiler alert, it's a bit in the future. Actually, my hand's fine now. Yay! <laughs> but it's got, it's oh got a my god! Like, you can kind of see how much it's healed really well thanks to the glue. But I actually have. Uh, a photo of the video of it happening. It doesn't oh. look as as dramatic. As I, I don't know if I can watch that. I want to watch it. It's not a video. It's a photo. <laughs> oh, fuck! <laughs> fucking hell! <laughs> fuck, man! Like a fucking hot knife through butter. It was at this moment that he knew he fucked up. <gasps> oh, what is this? I am still recording. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Well, this is what's happening. <laughs> Always try to be safe, kids. Like, part of me was like, oh, it's over now. I can't do this. I can't make that, like, make the thing. But then, like, the Monday, I was like, I can do it one-handed. So there's a lot of footage of what's probably coming now of me just making the puppets one-handed. I did ten, nine videos? I did nine videos. And so what, what was the, what is the most viewed video that you posted on that channel. 750,000. Jesus wow. Christ. It's pie-flavored uh, pie, pie. I baked you a pie. Oh boy, what flavor? Pie flavor. I'm glad that Molly Penn uh, yielded views. Great. Did it for the talk. Well did done. Did it for the talk. I did it for Love the that. talk. What? Who else asked me how I did? Oh, to hey Tom. Now we've done our stories. Uh, it's time for your story. I how think. did you do? How did you do? <laughs> well, funny story, boys. <sighs> what the? I fucked up. I fucked up real bad. They're, they're still your hands. I'm still so old. <laughs> I miss my family. <laughs> You could have gone home. You didn't have to stay in the studio the whole time. <laughs> the door's locked. <laughs> ah, lock the door, isn't I? That's on me. That's on me. <laughs> so you know how in uh, one of the tryhards I was diagnosed with ADHD? Mm -hmm. Yeah, big time. I have <laughs> gone through the worst bout of executive dysfunction of my life. So yeah, what you just watched was somewhat manufactured because I had to do most of my try 10 months after these guys, because I, while I wrote everything I was going to do, I've just done it in October of this year. My bad. <laughs> <laughs> so I think I'm going to have to make a whole video about this down the line, but I have an absolutely crippling anxiety about working with actors. I know. I know. So basically what happened is I reached out to, I, I did an open call on our Discord for uh, people to submit audition tapes. And I couldn't watch any of them. And because I couldn't face any of it, I just... It then snowballed. And, and don't worry, I found motivation to do it eventually. <laughs> uh, all it took was Elliot resigning. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> I set him a deadline. You <laughs> that was it! Well, that's the thing I needed! I only fucking work with deadlines. And like, I finally had a deadline. I was like, oh, I can do it now, and I did. So anyway, uh, I did some TikToks! Oh! Yeah, I finally did it! Wow. Um, and I fucking hope so by now. You'd think, wouldn't you? Can you imagine if he brought us here and was like, I didn't do it! <laughs> <laughs> I thought it would be funny to lean into rage baiting a little bit. 
Okay. So the first account so I- So made a character called Rishi Sunak. <laughs> <laughs> that was you? Yeah, yeah. And, and that's why I waited for this. Wow. He's finally gone viral on TikTok and <laughs> I've done it. Uh, no. So the first thing I did is I took loads of tweet drafts that I decided were not worth posting. Uh-huh. And, just w- and then I asked uh, my friend Will to do these rants. Do you know what the worst thing the Marvel Cinematic Universe ever did for, like, culture? Um, Elon Musk, and I'll tell you why, uh, without Robert Downey Jr.'s admittedly charismatic performance as Tony Stark in Iron Man, uh, we would not have scores of simps lining up to give this guy a platform. And he absolutely knows it. That's why he asked for his car to be put in Iron Man 1. He worked his way into Iron Man 2 to be what? Held as a intellectual equal to a fictional character. And people are performing Olympic level mental gymnastics in order to twist this guy into anything other than the man child that he is. Like, if we didn't have Robert Downey Jr. as Tony Stark, Elon Musk would be as popular as Mark Zuckerberg. And if you don't agree, I hate to tell you, you're one of those simps. And then I did, and then we did one more, which was all about uh, selfies, which is really minor, but it's something that has happened to me too much at conventions, where someone has said, "Can we take a selfie?" and then handed the phone to someone else, and it's like, <laughs> oh. that's a, that's a photo. You've just you're getting upset at semantics. Oh, yeah. big time! Well, and that's the thing. That's why I channeled that all into this really pedantic character. Hey, Gen Z. Um, I get that you're spoiled by technology. But as someone from the generation that actually invented the selfie, uh, you need to start understanding what a selfie actually is. No one cared. Yeah. Uh, Absolutely, this did not work at all. Mm -hmm. Uh, These got an average of like 300 views and a couple comments. So I decided to do something so much worse. Here in the UK, we don't do Christmas lights really that much, not compared to the Americans, right? So I was thinking, what would be a good way to get everyone on your street to put up Christmas lights. And I realized a dying child would probably motivate them, right? So I put a card in each of their little mail slot things. And no, we're not gonna discuss how I struggled with these British mail things. And look, it worked. Like, bro, this house is old people who never put decorations up and they did it. <laughs> and like, isn't this little dinosaur thing so dang cute? I love him. Anyways. This year, I've got a new card saying that in Sophie's memory and honor, we should do the decorations again. And I've called it Sophie's Wish, you know, very catchy. Um, But the thing is, I don't actually have a sister called Sophie. I just got this photo off Google, but like, I like pretty lights and it worked. So you're like, no harm done, right? Oh, you put a target on- Why did you on- do that? <laughs> you put a target on that woman's head. I wanted her to be evil. That was, I said I'm rage baiting. Character. I think you think that rage has more power than it does. That is something that I have learned. Uh, <laughs> uh, one person said, not okay. <laughs> <laughs> so like, mm. I, I ruined one man's day. Uh, <laughs> so razzle dazzle, I uh, was like, Fuck you! And unfortunately, didn't move on. So yeah, Merry Christmas, boys. Merry Christmas. And again, everybody. like we were, this was a video was going to come out in December, so it would have been like far more. The, yeah, it would have been apt. But yeah, so, that's also probably a reason why the video didn't like pop off. Yeah, yeah, because yeah, it's like uh, yeah. it's like early October. Here's a Christmas <laughs> themed video. <laughs> yeah. None of that worked, uh, and that's fine. Uh, rage baiting was not the way. Mm-hmm. I decided that that didn't work, I would move on to the next best thing and make Astaf movie again. (laughs) Yeah, you did. Uh, What? (laughs) What do you mean? (laughs) What do you mean? (laughs) What do you mean? What do you mean? What do you mean? What do you mean? So, I created uh, Lazy Mations. So, I'm afraid the symptoms seem to indicate that your illness is far more severe than we originally- The symptoms. Sir, sir, are you paying attention? Sir, you're dying. That was you? Now, spoiler alert, yeah, you found me. The mistake I made, obviously, is in thinking that I just don't have an incredibly recognizable voice. (laughs) If in this video, 
I got done in for my voice. Yeah. Never mind your voice. Yeah. Give me your lunch money. Okay. And here's your lunch. Thank you. Why is my lunch lady gonna be so mean? Okay, but here's the thing, right? The internet's fucking massive! I just don't feel as famous as I would need to be for my voice to get clocked within an hour of posting stuff on a brand new account. But that is how long it took. It found people within an hour, and within three hours, people were commenting, can't wait for the new tryhards. <laughs> Oh, no, I, yeah. What the fuck? That was so fast. Anyway, how many uh, views did you get? Uh, so, I mean, I can just check. It's currently still going up. The, the most viewed one currently has 144,000. So, I had one more thing. Another one. <laughs> this is my gag. This is my bit. No. <laughs> so, we, I moved on to my third, fourth, my fourth and final plan, misinformation. Because who doesn't love a good fact account? Uh, what if the facts are all not true? And I figured misinformation is harmful and bad, but what if it's funny? What if it's funny misinformation that doesn't matter, and if people go their whole lives believing it, it won't matter. So I would now like to introduce you to Say What Facts. The word woof is different depending on which country you live in. In the Western world, we only say woof woof, because until relatively recently, we only had larger dog breeds with deeper barks. However, in countries like Japan and China, they say wang wang or wang wang, because their dogs have usually been smaller breeds with higher pitched or yappier barks. That, my friends, is why the word woof is different depending on which country you live in. Oh, I love loop. It's so <laughs> annoying. It's so it's so irritating. They do actually say wang wang and wang wang uh, in Asia. The reason for that is it's probably not because of the size of the dog. It's just onomatopoeia, right? Like the, 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 my favorite thing about that is the image I made, where it's like the photo of the dogs, where the countries they come from, and it's just all wrong. Like, yeah. not, like none of it's true. Uh, they can, like we've had different sized dogs everywhere all the time. Like it's just a lie. But then the, I'll skip one, and then I'll show you my favorite one. Time travel is real. Studies have shown that whenever you enter an inebriated state, the real you ceases to be and is replaced by an alternate intoxicated version. This is exactly why you do things when you're drunk that the real you wouldn't do. Because you currently don't exist within our linear timeline. Returning only once your body is no longer inebriated. So, to recap, you disappear, briefly cease to exist, and then reappear at a later time. That, my friends, is why time travel is real. But unfortunately, none of them got more than a thousand views. I, I like Say What Facts because it's just like, I the idea is that it's just harmless misinformation. Like, Alan Rickman didn't quit Harry Potter. Uh, I made that up, but he can't, he can't say otherwise. He's dead. <laughs> Yay! I lost, though. I did lose. You did super lose. I did lose. You made fact, some good content. In, debatably, if, if you have to kill Lazy Missions entirely because I got clogged, I came last. Just dead last. <laughs> I just completely fucked it. Yeah, what would be the next? Yeah, you had like over 100,000 for one of them, but what was what's the highest one that wasn't clogged? Like 800 views. Oh, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> so I guess after a year of waiting, Elliot's the winner! Yay! No one's surprised! <laughs> what do I win? You win getting fired! Hey, we got a, a Patreon. Uh, we got uh, early access to videos. The full version of this video. There's a Discord. Uh, you can check it out. Bye! Bye. <laughs>it took his voice with him but I'll, I'll do it myself hey you thank you for the money hey you thank you for the money money hey you thank you for the money hey you thank you for the money this is hard hey you thank you for the money hey you thank you for the money money uh thank you patrons we appreciate it uh i guess i guess i have to come up with a new song um so uh, stand by for that. Please send help. Uh, Goodbye! <laughs>